and welcome to Catholic Current, where we give you an update on events affecting the Church in the United States. From Washington, D.C., I'm Mara Moser. Late last week, the U.S. government announced a series of actions to respond to changes in immigration policies and trends. The new measures aim to double the number of refugees resettled in the United States from Latin America and the Caribbean. The plan also includes increased enforcement and an end to the Title 42 public health order that prevented many migrants from seeking asylum in the United States. We spoke with Bishop Mark Seitz, Chair of the Committee on Migration and Bishop of El Paso, about these new plans. Anyone who is being persecuted because of the po political position they've taken, because of their religion, because of their race, or other related issues, uh, they have a right to flee to a place of safety. So we were receiving many people from Central America for a good while. It was um, stretching the bounds of the definition, the strict definition of asylum. But these people were, their lives were just every bit as much threatened be, by a non-governmental group called like uh, narco gang uh, as they had been uh, it had been envisioned people might be threatened by uh, a bad government. So don't just see them as mm, human chattel, <laughs> you know. S realize that in each person there is a story and, and there is a need. And probably you will also find a faith that is actually inspiring. Um, take the opportunity to to find out about those those stories. The other thing I would suggest is, um, yes, we're seeing a surge right now. We we know that historically they come and go. Uh, don't be fearful, but we really could use some help for the surge, and so uh, you might look to organizations of the church or others that can. Uh, can help, that are helping in this, uh, you might consider whether you can volunteer. Uh, there is a great need for uh, for volunteers here right now, and people are, are welcome to join us uh, and see for themselves. Great, thank you for that invitation, and thank you for joining us, Bishop Seitz. It's good to see you again. God bless you. You can learn more about how you can help migrants at justiceforimmigrants.org. As we begin this month of May, Pope Francis asked the faithful to renew their devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We turn to Robert Duncan from Catholic News Service Rome for this story. At the end of his general audience May 3rd, Pope Francis asked Christians to renew their devotion to Mary and entrusted the Ukrainian people to her protection. At the beginning of this month of May, I recall the request of Our Lady of Fatima to the three shepherd children. Pray the rosary every day for peace in the world and an end to the war. I too ask you to pray the rosary for peace. May Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother Help us to build paths of encounter and dialogue and give us the courage to undertake them without delay. In the month of May, which has just begun, I ask you to renew your devotion to Our Lady. I encourage you to know Mary more deeply, to enter into intimacy with her, to welcome her as your spiritual mother and model of fidelity to Christ. To her, Mother of Consolation and Queen of Peace, I entrust the martyred people of Ukraine. Shortly afterward, the Pope met Metropolitan Anthony of Volokolamsk, Director of External Relations for the Russian Orthodox Church. The meeting came just three days after he told reporters the Vatican has a mission underway to promote peace in Ukraine. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Catholic Current. You can find out more about any of this week's topics by visiting us online at usccb.org or follow us on social media at usccb. I'm Mara Moser. See you next week.